as Daniel's here, this is uh, my further attempts at getting Cyrillic to play nice. I have a movie here. I'm going to in uh, VLC. Actually, it's not going to cooperate there, so I'm going to open VLC directly. And we will see what happens. Is that there are apparently are multiple standards, none of which seem to be followed. <clears throat> so it's all hit and miss in terms of which one is going to be used on any one file, which creates all kinds of problems when you want to use the subtitles. I'm going to show you how to load the subtitles in VLC. First, we're going to open the file. You can see there's a use the subtitles file. I'm going to browse to my target, which is right there. And now I'm going to browse to the subtitles file, which is fairly easy to find right there, SRT. Now, the trick here is the advanced settings. You use default. I'll go ahead and use default, and you can see what you get, which is useless. But we'll go ahead and show you here. Uh, close all the background noise. So the movie loads, hopefully there it goes, then we'll go take a look at some text. Now the movie is playing and default renders garbage. So there's no point in using the default, so we have to start over, open file, advanced settings, and now we can try UTF-8, which is universal Universal Transfer Font or something like that. I don't remember what it stands for. Click OK and we'll go into the middle of the movie somewhere. It takes a second for it to load and you get question marks. Joy of joys. So that's a waste. So you go to the next one. Advanced settings. And now you get into the mishmash that is VLC and its language options. And the closest I've found so far has been Max Cyrillic which unfortunately does not do a very good job either because there's a variety of font errors. Let's see. We'll go back to that area of the film. You see this, that little icon or that little grapheme there is not Russian. I don't know what it is. It looks like a, a higher, a, um, some sort of Greek hieroglyphic or Egyptian hieroglyphic. See that right there, that right there. So the Mac Cyrillic is not very useful. So we go back and take a look at the others. Now, if you have any familiarity with the variety of font types, you can see that VLC does a pretty good job of not, of not telling you what font type to use. Unless you speak this language, ISO 20022JP, which you can probably guess is Japanese, you're okay. But outside of that, CP932, don't know what that means. Uh, so we scroll through, there's no Windows Cyrillic 1250. Oh, look at that, CT, CP1251. That might be useful. Let's try that one. The point I'm making here, people, is that you have to know your font types. And this looks pretty good. 1251, which I recognize from my Windows Excel imports, seems to render this particular Cyrillic file properly. Let's take a look. Unfortunately, this movie doesn't have a lot of a lot of text, but there it is. That looks pretty good. So, there it is. If you're going to run Cyrillic in Cyrillic subtitles in VLC, what you should be looking for is CP1251. Again, CP, which is SR, Cyrillic, one two five one. Thanks for watching and may your adventures in subtitling and Russian be fruitful, more fruitful.
now that you have my hours of work. Thank you and happy computing.